Hi everyone, Chris here. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to show you how to make a very simple and easy gin cocktail. It only needs three ingredients that you probably have at home. It's a very fresh, easy drinking, summery cocktail. It's a classic, dates back to the 1920s. Let's go and make a gimlet, classic gimlet. What you're gonna need uh, is a London dry gin. I'm gonna use Tanqueray today. I always have one of those at home. It's a bit of my go-to. You can use any gin you like, uh, really. Uh, next to that is simple syrup. So this is a mix of sugar and water. Usually one to one. This is a semi-rich version. So one and a half part sugar to one part water. And uh, this is freshly squeezed lime juice. You of course always want to use freshly squeezed juice to make uh, the best cocktail possible. So uh, based on the classic sour template, we're going to use two ounces of your London dry gin, followed by three quarter of an ounce of your freshly squeezed lime juice. There we go. Three quarter of an ounce of your simple syrup. Simple as that. So the classic sour template is two parts of your base spirits and one part of your acid elements, lemon or lime, or one part of your sweet elements, which is a simple syrup. Uh, here it's a little bit adjusted to three quarters, three quarters. You always have to adjust that to your taste. So what you want to do, the goal here is to chill and dilute uh, as quickly as possible so as not to have too much dilution. Sure, nice. Yeah. And there we go. 10 seconds should be enough. So when do you know it's ready? The, the sides of the shaker are frosted and it was hard to just keep in my hands, so that tells me it is gonna be ready. Pop it open, get yourself a nice looking glass. Today I'm gonna use this beautiful Nick and Nora. You wanna double strain this cocktail uh, to catch little pieces of ice or lime that would be stuck in there. There we go, beautiful. I wanna garnish this one with a little lime wheel. There we go. You can't get more classic than the little lime wheel on the side. I think sometimes it's very good to stick to the classics. And there you have it, the gimlet. Cheers. Well, this is delicious, obviously. Um, you get the gin, of course, forefront, but it's then uh, equally sweet and tart. Very balanced cocktail. There is That is the magic formula, really. You cannot go wrong with that. And uh, what I mean to say about that is that I, I would be very happy to receive that um, at any dinner party or um, just to start an evening uh, or even after dinner. I think it's a... It's a very nice cocktail to have uh, even all year round. Uh, of course, it's summer here, so it, it calls for that kind of cocktails. But um, if you're looking for uh, an alternative to the, the gin and tonic or the London Mule that you, you, you maybe often do uh, when you want to drink some gin, I think this is the, the first one you should try. Uh, the Gimlet has been around for uh, 100 years now, so you know, uh, it's for a reason. It is delicious. So thank you for watching today, guys. I hope you try this one. Uh, let me know what you thought about it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.